What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, piggybacking, piggybacking off of the last video, uh, this another one from Decoy Voice, and uh, yeah, man, we just basically more Kamala shit and just stuff, some that just stuff that's bothering me, and I, I, I kind of want to talk about it and just get a better understanding of my tripping or or do a lot of y'all feel the same way do i feel you know what i'm saying like um i'm uh i i don't really talk about politics and stuff to anybody you know especially in the south you know like alabama's alabama can be very 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 weird when it comes to like just with anybody just with politics and stuff my pa's always told me not to talk politics with anybody you know what i'm saying that or religion just you know even with your family you got to be careful down here it's, it's really weird but anyway uh but with y'all you know y'all y'all fuck with your boy and uh, i know we can have serious conversations and stuff and i just want to i just want to i just want to show you what i've been seeing and you know get y'all's opinions too and you know i like this youtuber because it's not like it's a he's going out of his way to make her look bad this is actual stuff that's been said from her mouth like these are clips from her mouth and you know her party and just stuff that they're doing and it's just like why should we vote for her this coming november in a couple of weeks what what like what about her that makes her special that everybody's just rallying behind her willy-nilly without any thought process to mind like the people are rallying behind her and they don't and 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 it's like it's just like they're just it's so weird watching people talk about her and get hyped about her and it's just like all right y'all are hyped because she's a she's supposedly an aka like nigga we see aka is all over the place y'all don't rally behind them when they're actually like it's actual aka's and stuff doing real work out here ain't nobody rallying behind her and it's like everybody's okay they're trying to rally behind her because she's black but she never gave a fuck about black folks until the election until she until she got on that ballot she did not give a fuck about black folks didn't didn't even like look our way like didn't do nothing for like it's so weird seeing all this stuff play out in real time like i don't i don't know that's another thing too like i've never been this aware in life than i have now like everything that's happening in real time like this is on some video game shit bro like this not no like this not like a this ain't a simulation this ain't like bro this the timeline bro this this is the like the worst timeline bro who would have thought like that we're, we're in a timeline where <laughs> we we didn't get final fantasy versus 13 and now we're in a timeline where people are just voting or maybe people always voted like this maybe people always just rally behind somebody maybe people just always voted democratic democrat without thinking maybe that's the problem maybe people are so maybe people are just so stuck to their voting ways they don't care like they don't they don't look at it that deep i don't know bro it's really weird like when you start looking at like people that vote people will vote again people will look at somebody's policies and vote at it because they think they will eventually get something or that they'll vote for somebody thinking i don't know bro 
thinking of like something that like the the basis of some they like people vote on their imaginations like say somebody has a policy of getting more tax and you poor as shit and so you got one person gonna raise taxes and one person is gonna lower taxes but the person that's raising taxes is raising taxes so your money that you get through your retirement is more but the person that's broke is going to vote for that thinking that they're going to get the money back when they're retired but they have nothing to retire on versus somebody that's going to lower taxes and help them get more now but they but their imagination's like oh no we can't help you can't like you see like it's weird like I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all. Let me know in the comments, but I don't know. I've been I've been going down a rabbit hole, bro. But let me enough rambling. I know I, I I don't know. I I ramble a lot. I don't know if y'all fuck with it or not. But let's start. Three days ago, Hurricane Helene touched down, taking at least 90 lives, wiping out entire houses in Florida, causing mass flooding and mudslides all throughout North Carolina. Even in Tennessee, farmland is being flooded, all the way down to Georgia that is also seeing massive amounts of flooding, alongside the huge chemical plant that just burst into flames, causing more mass evacuations across the state. But what has President Biden been doing during all this coverage of Hurricane Helene? Bragging about the 2.4 billion US dollars he's sending to Ukraine. And that's why today I'm proud to announce a new 2.4 billion dollar package of security assistance even posting today, somehow looking like a wax sculpture, boasting about the billions he sent away, focusing on making these dramatic short films with Zelensky that even Kamala felt compelled to do as well, as Biden basically refuses to acknowledge the hurricane. Will you visit the hurricane site? Will you so as the president shuffles away in silence, Donald Trump isn't. Before we begin, I'd like to send my love and prayers to the families of those who have died. A lot of death and all of those who are displaced and suffering in the wake of the hurricane's destruction and hey man say what you want and i'm not even like a trump fucking i'm not even like i don't even fuck with trump like that bro but he working overtime bro oh my gosh bro i didn't even now we gotta rewatch the video bro damn bro oh well it is what it is three days ago hurricane helene touched down taking at least 90 lives, wiping out entire houses in Florida, causing mass flooding and mudslides all throughout North Carolina. Even in Tennessee, farmland is being flooded, all the way down to Georgia that is also seeing massive amounts of flooding, alongside the huge chemical plant that just burst into flames, causing more mass evacuations across the state. But what has President Biden been doing during all this coverage of Hurricane Helene? bragging about the 2.4 billion US dollars he's sending to Ukraine. And that's why today I'm proud to announce a new 2.4 billion dollar package of security assistance. Even posting today, somehow looking like a wax sculpture, boasting about the billions he sent away, focusing on making these- Bro, where are they getting this money from? Where are they getting all these billions and billions of dollars from? And they say they cannot help out hurricane victims. They say they ain't got no money for no stimulus checks. They said the stimulus checks hurt the economy. But when I, I remember when the stimulus checks got sent out, everybody was straight. Everybody was eating good. Yes, the broke folks was wilding out, but folks actually invested that money, was able to get their businesses back right. All types of shit, bro. And like that's the stuff I'm like thinking about. Like they say they ain't got on one hand, they ain't got the money to help our own nation their own nation that they run. But they damn sure making sure that Ukraine straight in the motherfucker. Ukraine gonna get rebuilt like that. Ukraine bro, that's the that's what I'm trying to understand, bro. Like like who was it somebody said that like instead of sending the money to ukraine 
if the United States took that money and gave every citizen of the United States, even the illegals, could get two hundred thousand minimum, bro. Every person, bro, that is insane to actually think about how much money billions and billions of dollars is. These dramatic short films with Zelensky that even Kamala felt compelled to do as well, as Biden basically refuses to acknowledge the hurricane. So as the president shuffles away in silence, Donald Trump isn't. Before we begin, I'd like to send my love and prayers to the families of the- And this is what I was saying, like, you know, say what you want about Trump or whatever, but like that man is working double time. And they trying to take this nigga out, bro. They is readily trying to assassinate Trump, bro. They are thoroughly after this nigga, bro. And he out here like the ops ain't won't. They, he out here like the ops don't want his head, bro. Literally, bro. It's crazy how this man working. Those who have died, a lot of death, and all of those who are. And, and it's like. I'm not like a, I'm not like a fucking one of those, like, bro, like, it's some Trump fucking dick riders out here. And I'm not even like on Trump's, like, I'm not even on Trump like that. But it's just like, when you start looking at the two, like, bro, like, what, like, what am I supposed to think when I'm starting to see all this other stuff about the Democratic Party? versus the republican party and he's on the ground trying to help them any way he can bro he's trying to help them are displaced and suffering in the wake of the hurricane's destruction in the south especially in florida georgia alabama tennessee and in particular western north carolina took a tremendous hit as Trump has announced he will go to Georgia tomorrow to facilitate relief supplies, but for some reason the media sees this as Trump dragging the hurricane into his campaign. Now I can understand how politicians capitalizing on a tragedy is a problem, but this isn't that. We have two candidates trying to show us what kind of president they would be, and only one of them is showing us that Americans are their priority. As even though Biden isn't currently running, Kamala's campaign is basically parroting what Biden does. As the Democrats proudly post videos of them signing missiles, they're sending to like this is shit, not like this type of shit I'm talking about, bro. Y'all are signing missiles that's going to kill people, bro. Bro, the Power Rangers wouldn't even do no wild out shit like that, bro. Bro, Madar himself wouldn't do no wild shit i don't even think hitler did some shit like that bro signing a bomb that's gonna take niggas out bro zelensky while he's beaming in the background trump was recently seen speaking with him where he wasn't looking nearly as excited and here's the thing I understand that there are Americans that see funding overseas conflict as their top priority. So, th And that's another thing. Are there really Americans that see, like, funding overseas warfare as a top priority? Like, are, like, are there are real Americans out there like that? If that is, that's insane. Like, it's so much stuff that goes on in america that they won't fix that they won't even bat an eye out but like you thinking you think that helping anywhere overseas is the best thing to do and on top of that like so my thing is this like if your home isn't straight why are you trying to fix somebody else's home man like fuck that like it's so much stuff that they can do to help out america and everybody's always quick to say well you gotta vote in the politicians and stuff in your home state or you gotta make sure you vote in the right people so when they come up the ladder and stuff and it's like yeah i get that to a certain extent but y'all are they're 
America's quick to go be everybody's big brother across the world, but who's gonna be our big like who's gonna when America's fucked up, who's the first person who is here to look out for us? When 9 11 happened, who was here for us, bro? Be for real, when 9 11 happened, nobody was jumping up, getting ready to go to war with Iraq and Afghanistan for us. If anything, we had to make make people go to war with us they don't want to do that like america like nobody's jumping up like right now we have people literally losing their homes don't got no place to sleep have no power all in the southern parts of the united states all through the south the deep south all around me people like it's so much shit going on right now as we speak as i speak right now nobody around the world is jumping up sending stuff our way nobody is jumping up sending aid nobody's jumping up sending supplies you don't see anybody you don't see taiwan jumping up sending noodles oodles and noodles over our way you don't see ukraine jumping up and sending fucking milk bottles and milk cans and and, and supplies to rebuild you don't see nobody ever ever looking out for america and and another reason i'm so like i'm so hell bent on that that point right there is because i have a little brother that's in the military and it's like why would i vote for somebody when it like is shit get crazier in iran they sending our troops over there first they send our people over there to go fix that shit Nobody else is jumping up to go fix that shit. Bruh, the, America has to make Europe and the other UN nations help send Ukraine stuff. Nobody's jumping up to help and nobody else but us. It's sad, bro. Like, and it, and, it, and it frustrates me because it's just like, when it just seems like when people point this shit out nobody cares bro and it's like and that's what i mean but like times is weird like nobody has compassion for nobody bro nobody cares about nothing anymore bro and it's like the people that do care what can i do i'm just a nigga on the internet bro literally that's how folks view me that's how i'm looked at and I can't change nothing. I can't change nobody's mind. But it's like it's got to be some way to get get some discussion going. Some way to get folks talking about it. Something, bro. It's just it's just weird and sad, bro. It's just weird. Well, the constant photo ops about exporting billions of their tax dollars only solidifies their vote. But when Trump says he's going to campaign in Georgia to help with their relief efforts, it isn't Trump dragging the disaster into his campaign. It's what Biden and Harris should be doing as they're the ones currently in office. But exactly. And like everybody's like mad at Trump. Like he's just using it as a campaign thing. Bro, he, he's like the only person that cares about it. He's the only person that cares about America itself. Like. And it's sad that it's fucking Trump. Like, that's what I'm trying to get through. Like, bro, it is sad that the person that America can depend on to at least try to change something and he don't give a fuck what nobody says is, is Donald Trump, the nigga rappers used to rap about because he had money. Bro, this nigga Donald Trump used to have a TV show and say you're he's literally known for saying you're fired bro this is crazy that we live in the timeline that donald trump is the nigga that we have to depend on what type of world are we in right now 
But sadly, this is pretty on brand for their administration, as last year in East Palestine, Ohio, when the train derailed, was curiously burned, sending toxic fumes into the sky, making the entire area look like a war zone. Biden didn't even acknowledge it, he just rushed to Ukraine to surprise them with another half a billion of our tax dollars. And six months later, when Lahaina in Hawaii burned to the ground, Biden was again asking for another $24 billion to send to Zelensky. But when he finally did arrive to Hawaii, he promptly fell asleep. So add Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia, alongside Ohio and Hawaii, as the states that saw for themselves how little the Democrats prioritize their residents, and in theory should never vote for them again. As I imagine how infuriating it would be to see this, while you were stranded on a hospital roof in Tennessee, while your neighbor was kayaking through their own living room in Florida, or one of the million people currently without power, as this map may be the key to why Kamala doesn't seem to care, as it closely resembles the election map from the presidential race in 2020. But Harris's ad today says she's there for all Americans. I never asked a victim or a witness, are you a Republican or a Democrat? I intend to be a president for all Americans. So why does her Twitter, also from today, only show her reposting requests for campaign contributions? Blasting Donald Trump for not coming from a middle class family. More panhandling for cash while she's likely wearing tens of thousands of dollars of jewelry. And more orange man bad posts highlighting how Trump made the border worse during her administration. Which only highlights how the borders are, basically refused to address the border until she was realizing it was hurting her presidential campaign. So we should add the border states in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California to the list that now has first-hand experience with the Democrats refusing to put them first until it might hurt them politically. And at this point, even if both Biden and Kamala personally fly into the flood zones tomorrow and start shoveling out buckets of water themselves, the people actually there will always remember who they took care of first and who got billions of dollars more because it wasn't Americans. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is- Bro. I fuck with dude. As always, y'all can, can find the original video in the comments. I mean, in the description. My fault. But y'all let me know, bro. Like, am I tweaking? Or, or should- Luna just calm down and, and and let it go. Y'all, I don't know, bro. It sucks. It's sad. It's sad when you start breaking shit. When you start breaking everything down, it sucks. I don't know, man. If y'all made it this far, please, please. Give me a follow, bro. I need that. I'm so close to being able to start getting uh, ads and stuff. So I, your, your boy can start making a little change around here. Chump change. Something that'll help me out. Take take a load off of the doctor bills and stuff. And all kind of like. But still. It would help me a lot if y'all could give me a follow if y'all don't give me a follow it would help me out way more if y'all just like and comment and tell me if i if if let's start this it if if i'm tripping if you made it this far and and i'm tripping let me know in the comments say say luna you're tripping but if i'm not tripping say no nah, luna you're not tripping and give me your side of it and let me know your side of how you feel because we gotta have there has to be some open dialogue about stuff like this. And it's way bigger than just a presidential election. You know? So, y'all let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.